Howdy everyone, it's your buddy PP. We are back in Earthbound. I know it's been a while, I've been busy, but uh, we are back and I'm ready to continue the adventure. Last time we were here, we took down the Happy Happyism cult and we rescued Paula, and now we're ready to reach our second R Sanctuary location, which is the Lilyput Steps, which is beyond this cave. Now I've done some grinding, and now I am at level 23 with Ness. Look at this, I have uh, PSI Rock and Beta, I believe that's Beta. And, uh, of course I've had Flash, of course I have Life Up up to Beta now as well. I have a whole bunch of other abilities, Shield, Hypnosis, Paralysis, I believe the boss at the end of this dungeon is, uh, susceptible to Paralysis. We'll have to see when we get there, if I remember correctly. Paula has made some huge gains. Fire, Freeze, both Alpha and Beta, and of course Thunder, of course Thunder's kind of useless. In my opinion, I don't really like using it. Of course, I have PSI Magnet, which is nice. And, of course, she has uh, Shield as well. And she's up to level 17. Look at that. Uh, as far as, like, she's kind of squishy as compared to Ness. Ness is a little bit tougher, but as you can tell, uh, she's already uh, parallel with Ness as far as psychic power. And she's still a few levels behind him. So, uh, I believe uh, we'll, we can go ahead and take, uh, take this boss now. And this dungeon. I've done a little bit of uh, grinding through here. Let's take care of this mole. I'm getting in my dang way. Uh, these moles are uh, fairly easy to take care of on their own. It's when we start getting to the bears that things start... Uh, we have to start getting a little bit more aggressive. They do have bears. In fact, uh, they have a random chance to drop teddy bears. I know, the bears drop teddy bears. It's weird. See, there's one of these bears right now. Looks kind of goofy and cartoonish, but it's actually... Uh, Quite a powerhouse. It's, you're going to want to get rid of it quick. And we have a strategy for that. But yeah, let's go ahead and take care of this uh, other mole. Yeah, the bears don't pop in at the early part of the cave. You have to... Uh... Oh, and by the way, now that we have two people in the party, the uh, experience is shared. I can't remember if I mentioned that in the last video. But yeah, I think these bats are... Okay, it looked like they were flying away from me, but... I guess they couldn't make up their mind. The bats can be a little annoying. But, uh, let's go ahead and take care of them. Sizing up the situation, it felt a little strange. It's, uh, mighty odd. Of course, you'll see a lot of enemies do weird things like that. See, sizing up the situation makes itself feel strange for whatever, uh, for whatever weird reason. No consequence to me. Yeah, 304 to each of them. See, it would be more like 608 if it was just one uh, player, or rather one character uh, that was in the party. Yeah, let's go ahead and take care of this bear. And there's a mole there that's going to make things a little bit complicated. But you know what? Mm, I'm just going to go ahead and use Freeze Alpha so I'm not using too much psychic power. Oh, stop that, you. I think this should be enough to take care of it. Oh yeah, that should be enough. Goodbye, Mighty Bear. Now I'll take care of this dang mole. Goodbye. Moles aren't too hard. Moles are pretty darn easy. Alright, 533. I don't know if we'll uh, reach a level before we get to the boss. This is kind of a small dungeon, if you can call it that. It's really just a cave. I should just be able to insta-squash that bat at this point. I mean, I can if I catch it by surprise, but... Yeah, see, just one hit from Ness and it's dead. Yeah, it's not worth all that much. Let's see if we can run past this bear. Alright. Very nice. Oh, dear. Lots of enemies. But only this one bat is going to attack us. That's a little, uh, little weird. But I'm not going to complain. I want to kind of reserve my energy till we get to the boss. No, he dodged. Let's try that again. Yeah, I actually had a teddy bear earlier. I got a, one of the bears to drop it, but it didn't last very long. These teddy bears can't take very many hits. I think you would get a, a special, like, deluxe version later on in the game. But, uh, whew. Okay, we missed the bass. Ah, oh, but we're still going to have to fight a bear. It's just the one, though. I can take one bear. Yeah, those teddy bears, they don't last too dreadfully long. See, yeah, Psychic A is only worth, like, uh, four Psychic power, but, uh, Freeze Beta is, like, nine. 
and that rocking beta and that's his uh, offensive ability it's like 14 of course it deals damage to all the enemies and it deals a lot of damage but still uh one more bear because it's kind of in a spot where it's a little too difficult to avoid i also have a psi caramel i believe it was one of the presents here in this cave i got it while i was grinding Boom! Ooh, smash attack to the bear. Get out my face. See, it only took a few minutes. Of course, that's because I did some grinding on the way. And I believe this one's called Mondo Mole. Before I do that, I bought some croissants. I don't think I need that many. I also got a bomb, but I won't be uh, needing that either. Alright, let's take care of you, punk. You finally got here. This is the second your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me. If you dare, I do dare. I'm, and I believe you you are susceptible to paralysis. Let's give that a shot. Well, I'm going to hit you with uh, Freeze Beta, since we're already here at the end. Onto Mole. Yes, he became numb. Nice. I think this will be easy. Oh, dear. He is... Uh, not vulnerable to ice, however. Hmm. That's, uh, unfortunate. You know what? I'm gonna try thunder. Just for the heck of it. Ooh, that worked! Yeah, sometimes it just plain misses. Yeah, see, he's numb and he can't move. Oh, man, this is kind of cheesy, but... After that crap I had to deal with with Titanic Ant... I don't want to... I really don't want to mess, uh, mess around. See if Thunder works again. It didn't hit shit! Oh, you dick. You know, I also have Magnet. I wonder how well that works. I don't think it uh, takes much, if it works at all. Five Psychic Power. That'll limit his ability to keep doing that. Eh, why not? For fun. He's already paralyzed. I don't have to worry too much about him. Oh, you want to be like that. He still has psychic power. And a mist! No! Easy, easy boss fight. Yeah, all you have to do is just hit him with paralysis. Yeah, offense up. Like, that's really going to help you at this point. I'll just keep draining his psychic power so he can't keep doing stuff. Seven psychic power, hell yeah. Yeah, he still can't move. Man, paralysis is nice. Got any more psychic power? Yeah, you do. Damn, he still has enough to keep recovering himself. Oh, that's annoying. Two psychic power. He still has enough psychic power to keep doing this stuff. I'm just going to keep draining him until he can't do it anymore. I know he has a limited amount of psychic power. Jeez. How much psychic power does he have exactly? I'm starting to think that maybe it was a good idea to uh, pin him with paralysis. If he was uh, being all offensive and healing himself and giving himself a shield and crap. Yeah, see, he just made it stronger. No, I did not mean to pray. Oh, dear. That didn't matter. <laughs> it did not matter. That was an easy boss fight. Gained 28... No, more just under 2,900 apiece. I think we might be able to get a level up here. Yep, Paula's 18. Speed went up by 1. Points by three. Eh, it's kind of paltry. But oh well. Goodbye, Mondo Mole. You kind of sucked. We. Alright. Ness briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody 
of the Lilliput steps. Let's see how that's gone. Let's see how our soundstone looks now. There we go. True story, uh, back when I was a kid and I was playing this for the first time, uh, I think I actually forgot to get the lily put steps. <laughs> that sounds a little crazy, but if I remember correctly, I actually forgot to get them. And you can progress without uh, having to do the lily put. See, now they're running away from me. Very, very nice. I'll make it a lot easier. Oh, I ain't going that way. It'll just make me fight that damn bear. But uh, I forgot the lily put steps, and I wasn't really using the uh, soundstone. You know, to check afterwards, because I was like, oh, you know, I was just taking it for granted that, you know, I beat the boss, or, you know, I progressed at one point. And I defeated the Happy Happyism guys, and I kind of just went back to Tucson, and I continued the uh, story, which you can do. And it wasn't until I got to the final Your Sanctuary location that I finally realized that, ooh, I forgot the Lilliput steps, <laughs> so I had to go all the way back here. To get the Lilliput step so I could progress with the uh, into the third act of the game to the final stretch. So that was kind of funny. I remember that. I think it was the Lilliput steps. It's that or the uh, next one, which I think is called Milky Well. That one's uh, Beyond Threed. So, alright. And we are back here in, uh, what is it? Peaceful Rest Valley? Let's go ahead and save our game before we uh, continue forward. Alright, now that we have saved, I think we can head back to Tucson. We still have the problem back in Tucson, however, of ghosts in the tunnel. You might remember that in an earlier episode. We tried to go through the tunnel, but uh, there are these uh, haunted spirits in there that won't let us progress. Will these guys avoid us now? I don't think they will. You wanna fight? Uh, you what? I missed! Oh, you're a jerk. Oh, uh, this again, huh? Oh, uh, just destroy this dang robot already. There we go. Yeesh. Alright, now I gotta cure Paula. That's fun. Oh, dear. Oh, no, with this shit. Uh, I guess I'll use fire. You you can use your fire spell to uh, deal damage to all the enemies in like a row. So I can just deal damage to all these uh, mold sprouts. Whoa. Oh dear. Let's go ahead and uh. You gotta remember we gotta take care of the uh, tree last because it freaking explodes in flames. There we go. Ah, oh, you suck. Look it off of your brain shot crap. Oh my god, how do you miss a tree? Seriously, how do you miss a tree? That makes no sense. Alright, here we go. Oh dear! Oh, get us out of here! Woo! Yeah, you see, it almost killed Paula. At least now I can use some of those dang croissants. Kind of bought them in anticipation for uh, that boss fight, but turns out I didn't really need them. No, I don't want to fight a friggin' mushroom either. I'm not in the mood for that. Oh god, it's gonna make me do it anyway, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna insist upon this shit. Fine, you want to fight? You know what? You got one. I'm sick of your shit. Here you go. This is what you wanted, huh? Die! Rambling evil mushroom jerk. There we go. I know that was kind of overkill, but I was so sick and tired of dealing with it. Alright, we are finally back here. And you know what? Let's go ahead and pay Paula's folks a visit. Let them know that uh, she's back. Hey kids, look who's back. Thank you for saving Paula. You are my hero. 
That's nice. Yahoo, I knew it! You saved Paula! I don't really understand it, but I know that Paula's miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up to any challenge. Paula, if you must take a trip, be sure to bring this along. It's my very own handmade band-aid. Ooh, that rhymes. I know, I'll call it a hand-aid. I got the hand-aid. Did you meet Dad? He's also sorry that he suspected Mr. Everdread of Burling Park. I'm trying to remember, what does the hand-aid cure? Hand-aid, handmade band-aid, heals your wounded body, gone after one use. Hmm. There he is. Oh, Paula! Ness, thank you so much. You must be the boy who will save the world, like in Paula's dream. Paula, I'm sure... You... <clears throat> Excuse me. Paula, I'm sure you'd be a big help to Ness. It's not every day a father lets his daughter embark on a journey to save the world. Dad, don't worry about me. Ness and I will be able to take care of ourselves. In three, the next town will meet another friend. If the three of us can combine our power, no one can beat us. Now wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. Goodbye, Paula. Don't worry, I won't cry anymore. But he will follow us around the room. <laughs> <laughs> Until I talk to him. Goodbye, Paula. Da, 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 da. There, now he won't do it. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Alright, it is time to continue our journey. Uh oh. Hello, Ness? Everdread is looking for you. He's got something for you. Oh boy. You all remember Everdread? He's the guy I fought, I, uh, fought in the park. In the earlier episode. Why do these guys want to fight me? Seriously. Like, what's your damage here? Yeah, look, 1 HP. Why are you doing this? Yeah, come and just use fire. Boom! At least I'll get rid of the dog. I probably didn't have to use my other psychic power. Don't care, though. Don't care. Boom. Goodbye, cop. Alright. Let us continue. 47 experience. That wasn't even worth it. But they won't get out of my face. Alright, Mr. Everdread is in here, I believe. I was going to ask you to be my partner, but I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accepted, I was going to give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Let me give this to you. It's $10,000. Use the money any way you like. You cannot refuse my generosity. Just accept it. Now I plan on looking for the evil money money statue. Oh no, please don't. That Lear X aggregate unearthed in one et. Oh, that's the thing we saw in the previous episode that uh, Mr. Car Painter had. I'll see you in another time, in another space. And Paula got the water bills. Now, just what are we going to use something like that for? Well, that's a good question. See, it's actually part of our solution to getting to Threed. But before we can do that, we got to go pay someone a visit. These fellas over here. The, the Runaway Five. Let's see here. I'm trying to remember how we got in. I know we can't get in through here. Present your ticket. Yada yada yada. The Runaway Five owed me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years. Unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> Speaking of which... Use. Pardon? You want to talk about money? How about later after the show? Even if we're talking big bucks. I've got definite rules about how I handle my money matters. Okay, so I think we have to get like a backstage pass or something first. I can't remember where to get it. Uh, hmm. So curious. I'm trying to remember what I do. Hey, you came with Paula. Then you deserve a present, playboy. Here's a backstage pass. That's how I do it. I just gotta talk to him. Now I can get into the show. Paula has it now. 
So, now we gotta watch the show first. Backstage pass. Use. Here you go. Hurry! You're just in time to see the Runaway 5 show. Now tell me if any of y'all think, uh, well, it's not gonna start just yet. A lot of people here, uh, waiting for the show. Kind of a hip-looking place. What's this? Hey, hey, hey! Don't get too close to me! I just farted. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Interesting conversations these folks have. They seem too proud, I mean. They just filled up this little music hall, after all. My boyfriend lost the ticket that I gave him. He's waiting outside the entrance. He's got butterfingers, but he's nice. <laughs> the Runaway Five are going to be a world-famous band someday. The kids are bouncing around, talking to everyone. It's getting annoying. <laughs> Lucky of the Runaway Five told me I could go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. Hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it. Can you take me with you, please, please, please? I can pose as your sister. Yes? This rocks. Let's go. Ooh, my heart is pounding. Now we can go inside. There we are. And these are the Runaway Five, and they're having problems with their money. shabba doo wop diddly dee wop all that good stuff. Mmm, I got these debt blues. Mmm, hmm, hmm. If I had $10,000, I could pay off my debts and move to the next town. Wonder if the bus still runs. It may be rusted out. Alright, I like to hang out and uh, mess around with these guys a little bit, but it's time for the show to begin. So uh, let's go ahead and take a peek at this. Let me know if uh, you think this looks a little familiar. Sort of a movie reference, maybe. Yeah, that's right. Tonight, you got the Chaos Theater's Soul Men coming at you. Rockin' and rollin' live on this tier stage for a limited time only. The world's greatest bluesmen, the Runaway Five. And here they come. Oh yeah, baby. Boom. Kind of reminds you a little bit of the Blues Brothers, don't it? Alright, and the lights come back on and all that good stuff. Good fellas, and they are um, the key to getting to the next town of Threed. So I need to uh, have them hook us up. And I've got the solution right here. Let's go ahead and pay off that debt. Yipes! You surprised me. Now I'm not sure what to do. I got the money, of course. And now the Runaway Five are free to leave. I've got no complaints now that I have my money. Yeah, I bet you don't. Well, what do you know? This little nipper took us from a nightmare to a dream. Ow! This means we can get out of this dump. <laughs> I'm a good driver. Come on, I'll show you. All right, let's move on to the next town. I'm sure our old hunk of junk will get us there. I didn't make a spectacle of myself, did I? <laughs> Runaway Five are free to leave. I've got no complaints now that I have my money. Yeah, all right. Yeah, this poor kid. I'm gonna miss the Runaway Five when they finally leave, like right now, but that's life. Sniff. I suppose I'll never see the Runaway Five show again. Here we are. 
Ooh, photo opportunity. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, etc., etc. Take that picture already. Great photograph. Always bring back fondest memories. All right, fellas. Let's go to three. Our tour bus is too loud for any ghosts to bother us. You want to ride? Hell yeah. Oh yeah, let's go. Get on the bus. And here we go. Okay, guys. Here we go. Hey, sidewalk. Get out of my way. <laughs> Nice travel music. And here is the tunnel. of truth. There are the ghosts. There are a few more coming up on us. Uh, see? They're backing off. I can't stand the noise. Now get out my face. Boom. Aha, and here we are in three. Looks like we have to say goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy, but I'm sure you can light up the place with your own little brand of sunshine. Hope to see you again sometime. Look for us to be singing at the Sum Theater in Forside, which will be the town after this one, but yeah, we'll get to that one later. As you can tell, this place is uh, a little eerie, a little gloomy, and it's true, there's something not quite right here. Not quite right at all. Dug around the trash can. Well, let's see here, just plain old garbage. Well, that was a waste. Well, that just about does it for this video. If you liked it, then spank that like button. Also, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section if you have any feedback for me. I try to respond to as many people as I can. And as always, y'all be good to each other, and I will see you in the next video.